What's up, everybody? Paul here from the Hoops Crew to talk today about Tyson Stengel. And um, it's not the best of news. So there's some reports coming out, beginning with Mitch Cleary on Channel 7, and it's it's spreading uh, quite widely now as a result through other channels, uh, has uh, found himself in a bit of a health uh, situation, a bit of a health scare over this past weekend. In the hours immediately following our game against North Melbourne, he'd returned to Victoria, just like the rest of the players did, and uh, found himself... In, in a serious health condition uh, that night uh, where he was basically unresponsive and taken away in an ambulance. Now, I'm hesitant to get too crazy um, in my commentary here because, of course, there's lots of information that is not yet available. There's a lot of mixed uh, pieces of information. There's there's some reporting one thing. There's others reporting other things. And then there's obviously a lot of rumours and conjecture on top of that. There's people trying to add context from Tyson's past, but when he was at other clubs, things that we, at least publicly, haven't seen or heard any signs of so far. And so I want to make sure that before we get started today, that I do put the, a little bit of a disclosure out there that there's a lot of reporting so far. There's a lot of rumours. And please await, hopefully, more reporting from official channels in the near future. And potentially some uh, some talk from Tyson in, in in the days to come, if he and the club deem that to be a worthy thing to do going forward. But let's kind of dive into uh, into what we've been uh, has been reported to us so far. Tyson Stengel was uh, rushed to hospital in after an incident at about two thirty in the morning uh, on Saturday or su- Sunday morning, I suppose. Um, in the hours after after our game against North Melbourne, he played a great game, kicked three goals, was was an integral part of a of a great win by the Cats. But he was, and as I as I kind of highlight here, he was found unresponsive at the time and was in serious condition. He has recovered since, um, and Channel 7's footage, uh, and I guess I'm not going to the original one because there's a little bit extra texture here presented in the Fox Sports article. Um, he has been since been doing some light running at training on Monday. This is recorded on Monday night, immediately after the news is broken. Um, it's 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 worrisome, I guess. Um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of reporting um, suggesting a multitude of different things. But the Herald Sun, and I want to I want to kind of cycle in some comments here because this is one that I guess addresses and speaks to some of the rumors and and some of the horrible commentary about Tyson that I've already seen online. Um, comments around clubs saying, sorry, supporters of clubs saying uh, that oh geez, you know we dodged that bullet not getting not getting him good thing he signed on for Geelong for five years, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, of course, this is just reporting. We we don't want to get too carried away based on on rumors and speculation at this current point in time. But the Herald Sun is reporting that uh, he was firstly that he wasn't out with teammates, so we can potentially put a line through any other players being involved here. But there are there, and this is the key one here. There are suggestions that Tyson's drink may have been spiked. So obviously, there's there's a lot of conversation around this because Tyson Stengel has had a history of, of behavior before he made it to Geelong. And so people are unfortunately quickly jumping to the conclusion that there might be an alcohol or you know a drug or some sort of just general behavioral concern here. Now, is it concerning that an AFL player is out at 2, 2.30 in the morning? Yeah. And I'm wondering if there's a consequence from the club there that you know he shouldn't be out at those sorts of hours. But according to the reporting here, there's also a distinct possibility that the state he was in is not because of his own actions. Um, it may have been alcohol he was drinking. It may have been something else. But the drink has potentially been spiked, hence the serious condition he found himself in at the hospital. Again, I don't want to get too carried away and take too many things uh as fact, because we should really be taking a lot of this with a grain of salt until there's official reporting that comes out. And the club may or may not choose to disclose that. And I guess for, for Tyson, Tyson's family's sake, for the club's sake, that's their own decision to make. And I'll, you know, hundred percent respect uh, their decision. I do hope that the, that there's a level of information that can come out just to address the rumors. I hate that things are already getting a little bit carried away in some circles and the people are jumping into conclusions making comments that are based on things that are completely irrelevant. And in some cases, I'm already seeing some bigoted commentary, which just sucks. Like It's just awful that we're seeing keyboard warriors getting out there and making racist comments. 
it just these sorts of things don't belong. These sorts of people just don't belong in society. So if you're one of those people, jam it, get out of here. Uh, we don't want your view. We don't want your numbers. We don't want your likes. We don't want your dislikes. Just get out of here. Um, but in the interest of kind of pursuing a continued proper rational conversation here, uh, paramedics responded to the reports of an incident uh, at Geelong at 2am 2, 2 on the 28th of uh, July, 2024. So again, the early hours of Sunday morning. An ambulance Victoria statement said one man was transported to the University of Geelong Hospital in serious condition. And then the article kind of gets into um, some of the uh, some of the texture, I guess, of the of the whole story. I'll in a moment I'll bring back a I'll bring a comment from the Geelong uh, the Geelong Football Club up. But again, I want to take a moment here to really focus on um, what is I think the most important thing here, which is of course Tyson Stengel's health. Uh, there's, there's background, there's, there's important, like important footy context and those sorts of things. And, and of course, you know, if it turns out that he's done the wrong thing, then there should be a consequence. I don't, I'm not going to sit here knowing that, you know, I've had a lot of things to say about player indiscretions when it comes to drugs over the years, when it comes to alcohol, when it comes to getting out there and kind of breaking club rules, whatever it happens to be, whether it's just behavioral, whether it's substance related things, breaking club rules to go out and do your own thing. If it turns out that Tyson has done the wrong thing here, then he absolutely should receive a consequence from the club, from the AFL, both, whatever it happens to be. Whether it's just a simple case of being dropped this week or more, we'll have to wait and see in that particular regard. But um, right now, we don't have the full facts, and so I do not want to get carried away. What I'm going to bring up next <clears throat> is a statement from the, the Geelong Footy Club who have uh, put out, look, it's admittedly a very simple, um, quite light comment at this particular point in time. But uh, let's get that out there. There we go. Um, so we've got a club statement. The club acknowledges a health incident involving Tyson Stengel over the weekend. Most importantly, Tyson is okay and attended the club on Monday. The club's priority is Tyson's mental health and well-being, and it's great to see the Hoops crew account getting straight behind uh, Stengel there. Um, we do not know a lot yet about what has happened. And more important than anything, regardless of what Tyson has or has not done in this particular case, is that as Mick here, presumably a Collingwood supporter, so a good one, we found in this particular case. We want Tyson to be okay first and foremost. No one wants to see uh, anyone in these serious health conditions, um, regardless of what football team you support, regardless of what thoughts you have on the matter. Health has to come first. And then if it turns out there's a problem, rehabilitation and you know you move from there. As I said, I sincerely, sincerely hope that Tyson has not done the wrong thing here and that the Herald Sun reporting is correct, that uh, that essentially he his drink was spiked and that's what's caused. I mean, not, I, I don't hope that's the case at all, but considering we know the outcome, um, hopefully it was through no actions of his own that led to this. Should he have been out that late? I don't know what the rules are in this particular case, given the timing of our next game against the Crows. They might well have been entitled to be out to 2, 2.30 in the morning. I don't know. Again, if there's a consequence that needs to come his way, whether it be a, a week a week off because he stayed out beyond a, a club curfew or something else, I don't know. And we'll wait and see. The club will presumably speak more about that and we'll certainly know by the time we get to selection later in the week. But um, right now, the most important thing is that Tyson Stingle's okay. So on behalf of myself, on behalf of the Hoops crew, and I presume on behalf of every single person watching this video, Tyson, if you if you happen to be watching this, we're sending our very, very best to you. We're hoping that you're in, in good health and that you're up and, I mean, clearly you're up and running again, that hopefully there are no lasting consequences from this and that you are doing your uh, doing your thing for the Cats again late this year. For, for context, people, if we want to dive into the on-field stuff, Tyson has kicked 37 goals this year. He's the He's got more goals than any small forward in the competition this season. He's absolutely on track for another All-Australian jacket. He's done a great job, and I hope that uh, this doesn't derail his season, doesn't derail the Cats' season, and that hopefully, for, again, for his own health, that there's no lasting consequences. Cats fans, 
that is my reaction to Tyson Stengel's uh, health news scare that's kind of popped up in the last in the last 24 hours. Let us know what you think in the comments. Please be rational, be reasonable, be respectful in the comments. Um, and otherwise, thanks a lot for checking this video out. Make sure to uh, check out all things Hoops Crew on YouTube. Go check out our Patreon where you can get one week of free and exclusive access before considering signing up and checking out everything else we do and being there the moment some Patreon exclusive content drops. You can find me at Paul James Games on socials. And until next time, remain long strong, and I'll see you later.